Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial series and in this one we'll be making this um, list view responsive. So what that simply means is that the list view will be able to adapt to different screen sizes. So you can see now whenever we go to the landscape mode, this is not how YouTube looks like in the landscape mode. This is more of like how YouTube looks like in the landscape mode. So this is the view we are going to be trying to achieve. So let's head over to Android Studio and um, do this. So currently now for the portrait mode, um, it is being laid out in a column, while for this landscape mode, we are going to lay it out in a row. So you can see this column over here. The first thing would be to create a function outside the build method. So the function is going to be returning a widget. So we'll name this function build poor traits list. So it's going to return, it's going to return this current view. So what we're just doing now, we're just refactoring the code. So everything should still be normal. So I'll come over here and paste it. So currently now this function is complaining about the context and the index. And to fix it is quite simple. So we just do it passing the build context argument and also an integer index. And you can see that is solved. So the next thing will be to return it over here. So build portrait list with context and index. So if I refresh this, this should still work. You can see everything still works. So the next thing we want to do now would be to create a second um, function that returns the widget for the landscape mode. So currently we'll be repeating some stuff, so we'll be copying and pasting, but later on we'll refactor our code to make it more nice. So now we'll create a second function called, or well, let's just duplicate this. Let's duplicate the build portrait list. We'll select and press Ctrl D on Android Studio, then we'll come over here and separate it. So we'll call this build land scape list. Cool. So build landscape list is going to be returning a row instead of a column. So remember I told you the row is used to lay out stuff side by side. So let's turn this to landscape mode. So currently this is how this looks. So I just have to replace this. We'll still do a conditional statement to check if we're in the landscape mode and um, return the layout based on the mode we are in. But I'll just put this stuff right now here to, so we can work with this. So the next thing, you can see everything is currently blank. Is it giving me? It's giving me some errors. It's talking about the box constraint. It says here the box constraint forces an infinite width. So what we are gonna do here would be first things first. Now when we're using a row, the container has a width and a height, while the list style doesn't have a width and a height. So the first thing we're gonna do would be currently we set the container to collect to take the whole size of the device width. So let's just divide this by two and to see if anything is going to change over here. So it's still complaining about the render box. So to solve this type of problem, whenever you're working with rows or columns where it's complaining about the box constraints, you can just give um, the second widget a width or a height. So now the container has a width and height. So to achieve this, we don't want to give the list style a, hit, list, a width and height. We just want it to take off the remaining space. So we could just simply achieve this by wrapping it in an expanded or flexible widget. So when I do that, you see what that means. So we can see now the stuff is back. So what this expanded widget is, is for instance, now the container takes half the width of the device. You can see it takes in half. Then this list style doesn't know what to take. It doesn't have any, um, it is taking the whole width to the infinity. That is why a flutter complains. So with this expanded, it just takes in, it just takes up the remaining space of our device, of our screen. So what this simply means is if the container takes half, it means the list style should take the remaining half or whichever space. So 
Now for the um, container, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. This looks too big. So we can solve that by let's go to the screenshot. You can see what we want to achieve over here. So we can just simply solve that by uh, let's head over to our browser. So the YouTube avatar image, the current width and height is 336 by 118. So we can just simply say let's see um, for landscape, the size is going to be Let me comment this and see if I can get a good size. Or before that, let me change the height to 100 and see how this looks. Okay, so let's comment this back. So we could just say the width would be um, 336. Was that 336? Yeah, divided by 2. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it doesn't look bad. So I just did the actual width of the device divided by two. Uh, the actual width of the image, you can see 3 6 divided by two. While this one, we can also say one, it's it divided by two because all YouTube thumbnail have the same um, dimension. So we could just say, instead of 100, you could say 336 0 divided by 2.0 just to avoid any um, 188 divided by 2 since it asks for double values so let's see how this looks okay cool you see it looks cool so we can see we are making progress towards this layout so the next thing would be to give this stuff a pattern so let's head back and see, where can we give this stuff a pattern? Mm. Let's give, let's wrap the row in a pattern or a container. Let's wrap it in a container. Container. We can also wrap it in a pattern, but I just wrap it in a container just in case we might need some other stuff. So let's pass in a pattern of. Mm, 8.0 and let's see how that looks cool this is looking cool mm, if we don't do 8.0 we could see 16 let me see I think that'll be too much is that too much it's not that bad oh, let's just make it 12 so I'm using multiples of 4 and 8 so based on the material design specification. So you have, yeah, this looks cool. So the next thing would be to, let's see the screenshots. So the next thing we want to achieve would be to, um, this avatar over here, we want to bring it down here. So to achieve this, we would simply, let's look, uh, this circular avatar, Okay, it would remove it. But let me copy it before I clear it. So, done. Then we bring it down. So, it should be outside this list style. So, we should wrap this list style in a column. So because we want to place the circular avatar underneath this list style. So we'll just simply do Alt and Enter. Then we'll wrap with a column. So the list style is the first child. So the next child would be a circular avatar. Let's save and see how that looks. Okay, cool. Everything is coming into place. So the next thing for this column would be to set the alignment. So we want to make this column to take all the whole children to start from this beginning. So we could just do the cross axis alignment and starts. And let's see how that looks. Cool. So the next thing would be to um, 
Just no padding. Okay. So the next thing will be to give this circular avatar some padding. Mm -hmm. So to do that, we'll just simply wrap it in a container like I told you from the first video from the previous video if you want to do something like this you could just wrap it in a container or you could just wrap it in a padding widget so for me I'll choose the container because I might want to do some other stops so I'll choose a container and set the padding um, to And the only left and give it a padding of eight. Cool, everything is falling in place. So the next thing would be oh, how can we bring this stuff up? Let's see. The next thing will be to remove this dense equals to true because from this landscape mode you can see we want to make it so just bigger so let's just remove this dense equals to true and see how everything fits in so everything is fitting in okay so i think everything is looking nice the only thing left for us would be this image size is looking quite small this thumbnail is looking small so i think that stuff we could do to that thumbnail would be to head back up here and Instead of dividing it by two, let's divide it by 1.5. <laughs> okay, and instead of divided by, let's divide it by 1.5 and see how that looks. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. So now to actually I want to see why this space is in between this stuff here. So I could just grab my flutter inspector and see why. Let me first see where I'm heading to. Okay, cool. I could just grab this and click on this. Okay. It is from this list tile. The list tile has some padding in it. That is why we have this space over here. But everything seems to align nicely because you can see if you look down here, the avatar and the end of this video thumbnail are on the same line. So this is not looking bad. This is looking good. So we just remove this and see what next we can do. So the next stuff would be this icon over here. We just push it up a little bit. I think we already have that. So it's just to add uh, more margin bottom to 30 and it should push up. Cool. So yep, yep, yep. We have achieved, we've achieved this. This is looking good. We could also add some negative margin to this list style over here. but let me see let me see since both of these stuffs are in a row um, let me do cross axis alignment to start and see center Okay, there's no need for that. Okay, so this is looking good. Let's check back our source image. Okay, so if you want to, you could do, apply the same click I just did over here, which is for this trailing, you wrap it in a container and apply imagine to the bottom to push it up but I'm not going to do that right now because that might take some time like two minutes or one minute which is quite 
useful or crucial for this type of tutorials. I don't want to over record, make this tutorial to be unnecessarily long. So the next thing would be to actually swap this layout based on the device orientation. So we'll head back up to this, um, the build method and um, create a variable called device orientation and it's going to be um, media query dot off dot orientation so device orientation then for this place we're going to do an if statement oh no yeah over here so if device orientation equals to orientation dot portraits return build portrait list cool then else Return the landscape. So let's see. So what this simply does is, like I said, so the device, let's see if it works and I explain. Cool, it's actually working. So this is the portrait list which takes the column layout and this is the landscape mode, which takes the row layout. So what this simply means is that I set a variable called device orientation, and it gets the current orientation of the screen. So it's stored in this media query that's off um, constructor. So this gets the device orientation. So I now did a conditional check. If the device orientation is equals to portraits, return the build portrait list. Else, that means if it's not portraits, it's landscape, then return the build landscape list. So that is it for that. So that is it for that. So this is actually nice. And I think we'll end the video here. I think we'll end the video here because the last thing would be to just create this layout. And I think we'll do that in while building this layout. We're going to do that while building this layout. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.